Hi guys, welcome to our vlog. Today we're back with Megan Kenny. Right. Okay. What were the original aims behind your project? The aims of the project were set very clear at the beginning of the term. We have to show all of our skills in a final showcase performance. This meant planning rehearsals, um, having a practice routine for ourselves, record our progress in our journals, and um, analyze the room of a final performance to do a risk assessment. My personal goal was improving my performance, so improving my confidence to have a better performance and actually show my skills. I wanted to be able to do this by having enough practices, doing my vocal warm-ups every other day and practice the song as well to get a stronger performance in the end. Did you achieve this? Yes, I saw myself evolve during the term and see myself being able to do it more comfortably, knowing the lyrics, not doubting myself, and then at the end being able to perform something fun for other people to watch as well for myself. What was your contribution to the project? The project was based a lot around working as a team. So for final performance and for musical to research, it was all about communicating and planning our final thing to present. So the fear of performance meant that I had to practice a lot more. So I got together with the band and this was all through communication through group chats and other I your time effectively. The time management used to be something I struggled with a lot, but then I found something called Bullet Journal, which you basically make yourself, and it helped me organize all my things together and set practice routines to do my practice in certain times and make the most out of my dead times, so like on the train, do work, and on the way back, and between lessons, so it's like to get everything done in time. Looking back, what were the main challenges in this project? My main challenge was making sure I didn't overdo my journals because at first I did a lot of it and do, did it really detailed but then it took over time and I had other deadlines for classes that I was like almost about to miss, I never actually missed any, but it was causing a lot of anxiety so I just had to make sure I started working better on my time management to get everything done, yeah, not only my journals. How do you feel you collaborated with others in this project? I feel like the best example of the of collaboration and working together was our final musical presentation, where we all kind of planned having a very aesthetic looking presentation to have it look the same throughout, and that was really efficient of us, and we got a pretty good presentation at the end. What are three strengths about your performance? I feel that uh, I did achieve my goal of being more comfortable and presenting and the, the my skills and showing all that I could do. I feel like I did that very well. I didn't worry about getting the lyrics wrong, and I was loud, I projected, and I, it was a performance that it was like all together, it was just a group, it wasn't like an individual one. It came together properly. What are three weaknesses of your performance? I, two weaknesses. Two weaknesses. I uh, struggled to kind of face people anywhere, I was kind of looking around them, wasn't looking at them because I was scared to like, see them judge me or something, but I feel like that just comes with more practice and more time, so eventually I'll be able to get there. I feel that the, we only have like one or two band practices, so if we had more, the band would have been more comfortable and there would have been fewer like mistakes and there weren't that many. What are three things you've learned about yourself or your music in this project? I learned that I am very persistent and I won't stop until I get something done, which kind of became a problem with the journals things because I didn't finish them. I, I worked on them so hard that I was missing out some of the things to do. Um, I learned that I like to be doing work like I'm like sitting and doing nothing, knowing that I have work to do, and that just became a thing over the term that I just kind of wanted to do my work more and get better things done. I didn't want like a lower standard outcome. I wanted to work with them better, which I've never really done before. And yeah, that's <laughs> What would you do differently in the future? I would probably start practicing the songs earlier on. I feel like in the beginning with Dua Lipa and the Killer song, I didn't practice nearly as much as I did with 
um, rolling the deep, so my first assessment could have gone a lot better than it did, and maybe like if I had practiced earlier, my final performance would have been even better. So that's something I would do, yeah. How will you use your learning and knowledge you have gained to age your own future projects? I decided in my music presentations that when I wrote down in my flashcards that I had, I wrote them down by hand, I couldn't find my place sometimes, so I would look down and it would take me a minute and I would say, um, in the middle of the presentation. It got really annoying, so I decided I was going to put them out and cut them into two small pieces to not have it cover my face, but at the same time being able to like guide myself, and that meant it went really smoothly. I also learned it like word by word before I just kind of got the idea of it and just kind of like talked about it and just added a few things while I was going, which meant I was I had a lot of pauses to kind of get the next topic going. Yeah, I also learned that I speak really quickly in presentations, so if I slow down, I probably won't miss out on as many things that as I. As I may have done previously. Yeah. Thank you for watching our vlog. This is the name Kenny and Bex. See you soon next week. <laughs>